Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now percent is very much useful whenever we want to show increase or decrease in a quantity. For example, you might say that my height has increased by 10% in the last 2 years. So here the increase in height is being determined by the percentage. So 10% tells us how much was the increase in your height in the last 2 years. Similarly, if you tell that I spent 40% of my salary in 10 days. So this basically tells the decrease in your bank balance because when you are spending your bank balance or the money that is with you is decreasing. So the decrease in money or the decrease in bank balance is shown by the percentage which is 40%. Sometimes you would have seen that there is a 50% discount in a mall in the neighborhood. So what does that mean? 50% discount that shows the decrease in the prices of the items in that mall, which is shown, the decrease is shown in terms of percentage. 50% tells us the decrease in the price of various items. So whenever you look at a percentage, they often help you to tell the increase or decrease of a quantity. Now, how do we convert the increase or decrease of a quantity as percentage? So let us take an example. So increase or decrease in a quantity is always calculated as a percentage of the initial amount. Now this is important. So it, it has to be percentage of the initial amount because the increase or decrease is happening on the initial amount. For example, let's say you got your salary and then you spent 40% of the salary. So this decrease in money has happened on your salary. That is the initial amount that you had. Similarly, when you see that your height has increased by 20%. So your initial height if initial height was h, so this increase of 20% has happened on the initial height. So therefore, whenever we talk about increase or decrease in a quantity, it has to be calculated as a percentage of the initial amount because the increase or decrease is happening on the initial amount. Now let's look at this mother-daughter duo. So here the mother says that in my childhood petrol was rupee 1 per liter. That means the cost of 1 liter of petrol was rupee 1. So before this was the scenario. Rupee 1 for 1 liter of petrol. And then the daughter says that it is rupees 52 per liter today. So that means what happened now? So now it is rupees 52 for 1 liter. So what has happened? The price has increased. So over a period of time, there is an increase in price of the petrol. So how can we represent this increase in price of petrol in percentage? So for that, first we have to find out how much is the increase. How much is the actual increase in price? So the actual increase in price would be the final price minus the initial price so rupee 52 minus 1 which is rupees 51 so rupees 51 is the actual increase in price but we need to find out the percentage so how will you find out the percentage increase percentage increase is equal to the actual increase divided by the original price or the price which was before or the initial amount that's what i was telling that every time you uh, try to calculate percentage of increase or decrease it has to be calculated on the initial amount so here the initial amount is the before amount or the original amount whatever you call it this multiplied by 100 so how much is the increase the increase is 51 what was the original amount the original amount was 1 this multiplied by 100 because you want to calculate the percentage. So this becomes 5100 percent. So this shows that the price of petrol has increased by 5100 percentage. So it's like a huge increase. Right? So in this fashion, whenever you want to find out increase or decrease of a quantity, you can definitely write it in terms of percentage. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.